welcome back to the channel everyone i know it's been a couple of weeks since my last upload but as you can see from the image in front of you i've been busy i've actually been designing an ho scale that's right guys i said it it's an ho scale engine house now at the beginning of this video you saw my new toy well newish toy it's a laser engraver but i'm kind of making it work a little harder and turning it into a laser cutter and I've been cutting out some parts and pieces for this building. Actually, I've cut out everything for this building using that laser engraver. It's just a very slow process with that little hobby grade machine. So guys, I just wanted to do a really quick video here to show you what I've been up to. To show you this prototype engine house I've been working on. And from this point forward, guys, I'm going to start uh, updating you more on my progress of this build to show you what's been going on with it. And when I get this all nailed down and make it to where it's actually perfect, I'm going to create a whole new engine house and we're going to build it together. I'm going to show you guys step by step how I put it together. Uh, one quick note I want to tell you guys about. You see the gray styrene, the windows, the little round window, the big square window on the man door. Those I picked up from Titchy Train Group online. And guys, if you're scratch builders or getting into scratch building and you don't know about Titchy Train Group, you need to go check them out. I actually designed this entire building before I bought any of the windows or doors and how I was able to do that is on their website for each window and door they have they have the dimensions for the actual openings that you need to create for those items so guys I actually cut out all the windows and door openings before I even ordered the windows and doors and as you can see they fit perfectly no trimming necessary whatsoever I just cut them with the laser and they popped right in just, way, just like they were made to. So guys, with that being said, um, take care. I'll see you next time. And keep on rolling down them rails.